You are examining a child who you suspect of having neonatal tetanus, a vaccine-preventable disease. You know this is a serious disease that requires immediate investigation. How should you report this information? Monthly tallies for reporting vaccine-preventable diseases are an important tool for ongoing surveillance. But certain vaccine-preventable diseases might also require immediate action. In this video, we will look at how to investigate and report these diseases to the next higher level using a disease-specific case investigation form. First, how do you know if a disease you encounter requires immediate investigation? Your national guidelines should specify these diseases and provide a case definition for each. If you suspect or confirm one of these diseases, complete a case investigation report form. You should have access to a specific form for each disease that requires immediate investigation. This form should be completed face-to-face -face with the patient and caregiver in the home, community, or health facility. The information required on the form will vary by disease. This is an example of a form for neonatal tetanus. At a minimum, you should collect the following information. Record information about the patient, such as name, date of birth, age and sex, as well as contact information for the patient's caregiver. Record the patient's immunization status with dates of relevant vaccine doses. For certain diseases such as neonatal tetanus shown here, you will also collect information about the mother's immunization status. List any other risk factors for the suspected disease. With neonatal tetanus, you would record information about the mother's antenatal care history and delivery practices. Describe the symptoms of the suspected disease. When talking to the caregiver, responses will generally be more accurate if you ask open-ended questions instead of directly asking the questions on the form. Always include laboratory results if relevant. For this form, there are none. Record information about the treatment and outcome. Also record any responses to the case and conclusions based on the evidence collected. For example, here you would mark confirmed, suspected, discarded, or unable to classify. After you have completed your investigation report form, Immediately send it to the person responsible for evaluating reports and deciding whether further action is necessary. These cases should also be added to your monthly summary report along with other vaccine-preventable diseases. Now you know how to investigate and report critical information about vaccine-preventable disease. High quality, accurate, and timely case investigation and reporting is critical so that district and higher levels can use this information to determine whether public health action is necessary.